What's going on guys? Let me get your camera view real quick. Um, so today, Four Gore Fitness is going to talk about a supplement. Uh, I promised y'all a supplement review uh, and I've got it. I've done my research on it and this is to explain the difference between a expensive protein versus a cheaper protein. Um, and when I say cheaper protein, I mean uh, what, let's just say the Walmart Body Fortress protein. Uh, Walmart Body Fortress protein is strictly protein, whey protein. It's only got protein in it and then normally it's got like 20 or 30 grams of carbs in it. Um, and so basically you get what you pay for. You're just going to get a protein. The taste is going to be anywhere between the bad to the mediocre side. I, I like for myself to taste good. Um, so when I, when I eat or I drink something, I don't want to be like gagging it down. I want to enjoy it, you know, embrace the journey as I say. Uh, so I don't want the journey to be a very distasteful journey, uh, especially with me. So I recommend to my clients, and this is the only supplement that like I tell people you get what you pay for uh, with protein. So see, I get um, Gold Standard by GNC, uh, Pro Performance, uh, AMP, Amplified Gold Whey Protein Advanced. They name it all kind of different things. But anything that says Gold Whey uh, is going to be a very... Uh, well worth the money investment in your protein and I'll tell you why the reason is is because you're gonna get um, a good amount of protein out of this you're gonna get let's see this says 24 grams of protein and your body honestly doesn't absorb over like anywhere between 30 depending on your genetics anywhere between 30 and maybe at the max 48 50 grams of protein at one time so if you get like these massive gainers there's like 64 grams of protein synthetic protein the odds of you absorbing all that are going to be very slim. So that's just, don't waste your money on super stacked, you know, huge amounts of protein because it's just not worth it. 24 grams of protein is a good amount. It, it puts you about the medium size uh, that you should be able to absorb. Uh, and I also don't use it as a meal replacement. I take it with a snack of, like, more protein just to bump it up a little bit, like some peanut butter crackers or something. Um, but uh, the reason this one is so good, or the reason I choose this one, um, it's because it also has a BCAA matrix in it uh, with the ratio 2 to 1 to 1, which is exactly what your body needs and will absorb every 3 to 4 hours. Um, I enjoyed this protein also because its taste is pretty good. I, this right here is um, double rich chocolate. Chocolate works. Honestly, all these proteins, uh, all the flavors put out by this company are pretty good. Um, the cool thing about this is it also has glutamine in it. Um, when it has a uh, ultra filtered protein which is like very thin so your body can absorb it it's not harsh on your stomach like some protein where you feel bloated like you got concrete mix in your stomach it doesn't make you feel like that um, there's four grams of carbs so if you're counting your carbs and you want to keep your carb count low and you don't want your carbs to come from a protein uh, this has a low amount of carbs so the amount of protein that's very rare for you to get that much protein and have a low amount of carbs um, this is you know kind of expensive it's on the more uh, expensive side uh, it says 30 servings, but honestly, I like taking anywhere. I can I can stretch it out like 40 servings or 45 servings. I take protein as a convenient supplement, as if I can't get enough protein in during my day, and I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm missing 30 grams of protein. How can I get it in without having to take in fat or a bunch of carbs? And then boom, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll mix my protein, and this will last me. You know, this will last me anywhere between uh, a month and a half to two months, just because I don't take uh, protein every day. Um, not synthetic protein at least and guys this big whole anabolic window thing yes it's true you know there's like a 30 minute window where your body's going to absorb a little bit more protein but studies have shown that it's not massive your body will constantly take in protein and use it as fuel uh, for muscle building fiber and stuff like that so don't think that like oh man I gotta mix my protein as soon as I get out of the gym if I don't I've wasted my whole uh, trip to the gym because it's not true um, I prefer getting natural protein the best way I can and then again as a convenience I'll snatch up some protein uh, if I can't get it in during the day or like late at night when I want to go to sleep. Uh, there's a bunch of different types of protein, but whey protein is the best. It's the fastest absorbing, so it's real good. Uh, casein protein, just to give you a little back knowledge, casein protein is a slow digesting protein that releases, so it's good if you're going to take it at night. But again, you don't have to take a huge supplement stack to see results or become healthy. This is more or less a convenient supplement that you take if you can't get a certain amount of protein in and you're counting your stuff and you, you want to keep these counts low, but you got to jump your protein up. And also, if you have trouble eating a lot of food, it's easy to mix a serving of this and like go half water, half milk, and then just chug it and you're just out of your way. You don't have to sit there and eat a bunch of food and stuff like that. Um, and so, again, you know, you can order this anywhere. 
Uh, online, honestly, it's probably the cheapest. If you go to GNC, guys, it's going to cost you more just because you're getting it at a store and it's a convenience. But other than that, guys, uh, again, I'll say it one more time. GNC Pro Performance Amp, Amplified Gold, 100% Whey Protein Advanced. They're going to give it some crazy advanced name, but Gold Standard Whey Protein in general. Anywhere between 20 and 32 grams of protein. Keep your carbs low and you'll be fine with most proteins that you go with. Just do your research and check the reviews because if someone, if someone on the website is saying, oh, you know, this makes my stomach hurt, and you see that five or six times, there's a chance it might make your stomach hurt. But if everyone's like, this protein seems really good, I don't have had any back uh, fires with it, it hasn't hurt my stomach or caused any pressure or anything, or any bloating, then, you know, go with it, test it out, and see how you go. But understand, protein is one of the things that you do get what you pay for, so don't go too cheap on protein. Uh, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, appreciate your time, uh, and y'all take it easy.